Hey guys, how's it going? It's your host, Skylar Blue, and today is the first day of Inktober! Yay! Um, so in my September vlog at the very end, I gave you, like, brief tips, and I thought for the first day of Inktober, I'd go in-depth for you guys a little bit more with the tips and tricks I gave you in my vlog. So, first off, the rules of Inktober. Well, there's really only one rule, and it is to use ink and post it with the hashtag Inktober2018. The creator of this challenge, Jake Parker, has actually come out this year saying if you're a digital artist, you can still participate. Because, like, at its core, personally, I think Inktober is about practicing your skills and getting in the habit of drawing every day. Pick supplies you know you're going to like and have fun with. For me, I'm using India inks again because last year I loved them and currently I've been obsessed with them for like the last two months. Um, so I'm going to be using those and washes along with Micron fine liners and a watercolor paper sketchbook I made myself. You can, of course, use plain ballpoint pens that you can buy at the dollar store, brush tick markers, Copics, anything with ink you can use. And again, if you're a digital artist, you can participate that way as well. You don't have to follow the official Inktober prompt list if you don't want. There are tons of prompt lists created by many different artists for Inktober to choose from. You can even create your own if you really wanted to. I personally like to save a couple of different prompt lists on Instagram just in case I don't feel inspired by that day's prompt. I can just draw something from a different prompt list. I try to follow the official one as much as possible, but like I said, if I don't feel inspired, I'll just draw something else. And like I said, there's tons of prompt lists to choose from on Instagram. Write down each prompt word on your calendar or on the first page of your sketchbook. You can even draw small thumbnails for each prompt in advance and just reference back when that day comes. I did this last year, but this year I've decided to just save a bunch of reference photos and things that inspire me on a Pinterest board to keep track of all my ideas for what I want to draw for each prompt. And personally, I find nothing wrong with working ahead and doing two prompts in one day if you know you're not going to have time the next day for whatever reason whether it's work, school, or a family thing. If you need to work ahead to complete the challenge, then do it. I know I am this year, especially since I have my job and I have to edit each video every day. I'm definitely going to have to work ahead a few days. Of course, if you don't complete Inktober for whatever reason, you shouldn't feel you failed either. You still practice every day for a week, two weeks, whatever. And that's still a win because remember, Inktober at its core is about practice and getting better with lining, inking, being creative. And again, getting in the habit of drawing every day can be kind of hard at the start because you do have to find that balance and find time in your day to draw and do your regular daily tasks. So again, if you don't complete it on your first go, or even your second or third, you've attempted it and you've got some practice in. And personally, I think the most important part is that you had fun. So those are my tips and tricks. I hope you guys enjoyed. I wish you all good luck and I will see you all next time. Later, guys.